Hello and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Sarah. I don't normally look this flustered, but I have just done our weekly shop, but I also may have included some Christmassy things as well that I wasn't planning on buying. So I'm just about to put Madam down for a nap because it is, it is well past her nap time and she's done so well not to be a crappy crab so i am going to put her down for a nap and then i will show you guys what it is that i've got today i've been in aldi and asda as normal but i also popped into b m to pick up a couple of bits um for our secret santa and just some decorations i found okay see you in a minute okay so i've got all the aldi stuff out i'll show you that put it away because some of it needs to go in the fridge in the freezer because we've been out for like two hours so I'm going to need to put some of the stuff away and then when we've done that I will get all the ASDA stuff out and show you that, okay? So I don't have a lot of room on my workshops at the moment because I've got a load of my Christmas plates out that have been washed but for our weekly shop I've got some eggs, some ham, some yogurts for the kids, hot dog rolls, um, popper doms for our curry next week um, and bag of, bags of crisps for me and Mark, um, the Aldi's own best of both um, some cereal for the kids, cereal for Mark, cereal for the dog, <laughs> some butter, grapes, uh, strawberries and blueberries. What's over this side? Oh, here's all the plates and stuff, look. Um, we've got some strawberry jam and two tins of soup because we are having soup on Monday. And then I saw this in their chilled section and thought, well, it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it, really? So um, that might be our... Saturday night treat. So let me put that there. Um, some frozen peas. Some where can I put that? Oh. Um, some salmon, Scottish salmon fillets, chicken thighs. There's the second tin of soup. And I picked up the crispy chicken fajita kit. Um, six pints of milk. Um, some gravy, chicken gravy, some breakfast. Uh, sausages for hot dogs, some soy sauce for the chicken fried rice we are having. Uh, I picked up tikka masala, curry sauce, some um, ready to like you know microwave mice for the mice microwaved rice for the chicken fried rice because the recipe I use um, it's uh, quicker if you use ready cooked. Um, some 30 cans of Coke Zero <laughs> and two selection boxes. You may have noticed there was a selection box here. Last night we went to um, our local village light switch on and Father Christmas was there and he was handing out um, selection boxes to the kids and uh, so they had a selection box each and we just had such a stressful day yesterday that last night me and Mark smashed their selection boxes so I had to sneak them into the trolley so that Ivy wouldn't see so that when because we told them that they couldn't have any because obviously we didn't get home to like bedtime so they could have some after school today so I've had to find the exact same box luckily I did for them both to have their snack box today now we're moving on to the Christmassy food that I bought. So I've got two, there is two, but I can't remember where the other one is. It'll be in there somewhere. Two chocolate um, coins for the kids' Christmas Eve box. I saw this in there as well, which would be nice for one of our meals, baking camembert with Spanish chorizo. Um, a tin of shortbread. Um, 12 pigs in blankets, because I think it's only going to be S4 for um, Christmas dinner so 12 will be more than enough and I can freeze them um, I saw, oh there's the second bag of coins, I saw this which I thought looked absolutely amazing, a Christmas cheese platter, it's already cubed we've got double Gloucester with onion and chive Wednesday Dale with cranberries which is Mark's favourite Isle of Man mature cheddar Isle of Man red Leicester, that's my favourite and then we both love the hot Mexican cheddar and I just thought that looked really really cute and it's cracker shape, I don't know if you can see but I just thought that was really cute. Um, and then I picked up these cute little uh, milk chocolate Santas and milk chocolate uh, bears. And then we got some salted peanuts, roasted salted pistachios, um, these milk chocolate... I'm not even going to attempt to say that, but we really like those. 
um, and then some um, sour cream and chive flavoured pretzels which are shaped like Christmas trees although they probably won't be after Ivy has uh, been throwing them around the trolley and some just standard salted pretzels which are Christmas tree shaped as well so all of this will be put away for like Christmas week um, so that's everything that I got in Aldi uh, oh it's not I tell a lie I also picked up these um, pull up nappies for Ivy and the six pack of this but I also picked up this tree skirt now it's not the colour that I wanted but the colour that I wanted seems very popular so I picked this up because I'm going to get rid of um, where are you I'm going to get oh, rid of this one because obviously you can see my tree is um, rose gold silver and white so the red does not go I'm going to have to keep the boxes because I pestered Mark for ages and the only colour they had was red so I can't get rid of those, but I'm going to put the tree skirt on once I've... Oh, nice bit of uh, breakfast left on the floor there. I'm going to have to tidy that up. But yeah, I um, I picked this up because it was in there. It was only a small and it was only eight ninety nine. Um, Whereas all the others I've seen have been more like 12 to £15. So 100% willow. So that was really good. So I'm going to fit that on now once I've put all the shopping away but I shall get all that put away and then get out the Asda stuff for you. Right now we're on to Asda so there's not too much from Asda here but I picked up the £15 gift card. I think I've spoken to you about this before. Um, you buy a gift card well whenever you can afford it we do it once a month um, and they are valid for 10 years and then um, so we've been doing it since January. This is the last one because then we use it to buy Christmas presents with. So it, I say, it, it feels like you don't, you're not paying anything, but you've spread the cost over the year. But we found it easier using this because we thought if we put cash away, we might be tempted to dip in it if we need some cash at some point. So we bought these. So this is the last one. So I can order. The kids have already had their presents ordered and delivered, so I can use this one for Mark's presents now. So that's that. Um, some little jam lettuces, an onion pizza, a bag of chopped carrot and sweet, um, two advent calendars for me and Mark, um, some sour cream, some lemon butter sauce, some blue aroma for the downstairs toilet and then these were only a pound and I picked up four of them because Freddie has um, two assistant, uh, teaching assistants and two teachers because they job share so I thought I'd get them uh, a little box of chocolates, two bottles of squash, mine and Mark's. Um, I picked up, where is it? These icicle lights to go in the living room and then two lots of deodorant for me, um, pink blush and then the cream one, some feminine wash. Uh, and then some snacks for the kids. So I haven't seen this in there before, so I'm going to try Ivy with this. I know Freddie won't touch it with a barge pole, but I love hummus. So if she doesn't like it, I'll eat it. But then I got two lots of uh, wiggly worms, as they call them, but they're actually called fruit wrigglies. And a box of uh, the packeted gingerbread men. And then just a uh, multi-pack of the crisps. And then the other exciting stuff that I got from there is this... Oh, let me turn it around. Mm this duvet set for our bedroom um i did have a duvet set a christmas duvet set but it actually ripped i don't know how it ripped but it did but this was 14 pound down to seven pounds so it was half price and then i picked up the um obviously that's upside down let me turn it around for you the um king size fitted sheet the red one to go with it and then the kids also have their own um duvet Christmas covers but they haven't got any sheets to go with it and I wanted to get a red one for Ivy's and a green one for Freddy's but they didn't have any that would fit because they're in still in like a toddler bed cot bed they didn't have any that fitted so I thought the best thing to go for was white so I bought, picked up a twin pack and I believe the twin pack was eight pounds I want to say but yeah so I'm going to give them a wash and put them all on the beds then lastly, I picked up a couple of bits from B&M. So I picked up two of these uh, Christmas dinner trays because the kids are starting to um, want to eat off proper plates, not like kiddie bowls. So I'm not quite ready to trust them with breakable stuff. 
but I thought this was quite few and they might like I find it funny because they've all got faces on so I picked two of those up and they were 2 49 each and then I picked up this lovely little star decoration with a little candle holder that was only 3 99 and it's actually going to go right there in the middle of my table I wanted something small because my table is quite small and I also didn't want something that the kids can pick and play with um, then I also just picked up this, it was like £3, £3.99, um, as just a stocking filler for Freddy. I picked up some of these lights to go here, Ooh, too high, to go here. And I picked up another one of this uh, Magic Dust because I only have one. And then I am... Um, we ha are doing a secret Santa amongst all of our friends and I've got um, my friend's little boy who is obsessed with Marvel even though he's never seen any of the films. Um, he's absolutely obsessed with it. So I picked him up Spider-Man because I know he loves Spider-Man and Iron Man because I have seen him wearing an Iron Man costume as well. And they were, I want to say, 3 99 as well. So um, I picked him up those. Our budget was £10 so that was nicely within the budget. But that's what I picked up from B&M. Uh, that came to 28.93. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And I am pleased to say that Sunday should be my first um, Vlogmas video of the year. I'm going to do uh, weekly rather than daily because that just broke me last year. Um, and it's quite nice to just actually enjoy Christmas rather than stressing about filming and editing and uploading and whatever so I'm doing a weekly vlog so that'll be uploaded every Sunday um, when's this going up? yes it will be this Sunday coming which will be the 8th because it's the 29th of November today um, so yeah you should have your like this the week that's just gone so the week i'm about to have <laughs> this is so confusing um that will be up on sunday and then i will do there'll be four weeks so the fourth week will be the week of christmas so you'll see our um christmas eve we've got um a party on the sunday then um going to see the to santa toy mine on the monday obviously christmas eve on the tuesday christmas day boxing day blah 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 you'll see all all that i'll try and get as much in as i can because i also like to keep it for the memories to see how um, the kids have changed over the years um but yeah so that was me waffling meaning to say goodbye so um yeah thanks for watching bye